If I want to call a Muslim piece of blank terrorist, I will. Go back to your blank hole country where you came from, blank hole. That's Liberal MP Ikra Khalid reading one of the more extreme comments that she's received in response to her motion against religious intolerance. The motion specifically mentions Islamophobia, and that seems to be why it's drawn responses like these. Simply remind her that she is merely a woman and she needs to sit the blank down, kill her and be done with it. We will burn down your mosques, draper head Muslim. Why don't you get out of my country? You're a disgusting piece of trash, you camel humping terrorist incubator blank. Shoot this blank. For more now on what she intended and what she makes of the response to the motion, I'm joined by MP Ikra Khalid. I'm curious, since you read those comments, since Canadians at large heard them, what has the response been? You know, it's uh, overwhelming support, first of all, for my colleagues in caucus, for my staff and in my family and friends. Uh, and it's, it, I, I really feel uh, that we, we are Canadian and we can work together and, and really strengthen our diversity. I, I feel very reassured that, that we can do this. You read them out and I, I saw there was a fellow MP who even put his hand behind your back as if to say, you know, hang in there as you read these things because they're difficult to listen to and I'm sure just as difficult to read. Were you surprised by the tone of the emails you got? You know, I wasn't surprised because 70,000 people identified for us through e-petition 411 that Islamophobia is an issue here in Canada. And that was what the whole motion M103 was based on, that we need to work at building systemic racism and religious discrimination issues closer to public light. And we need to include Islamophobia in that conversation. And then when Quebec happened, I, it was very unimaginable. And I think that the motion, which I tabled long before Quebec, was very relevant. And uh, it was a call to action. So it was not surprising. It ironically showed us even more proof that Islamophobia is real. It, it does seem ironic that some of the people who sent you comments like that, in some way, are almost arguing for the motion or for the need for it. Right. And yet, not all of the reaction has been as extreme. Still, there are others who oppose it who say um, that you're, you're elevating one religion above another or that by putting it in there, you inflame a conversation in which Canadians could otherwise all support the motion. Why is it necessary to you? Well, Islamophobia is real, and I think that we've identified that. Now, a private member's motion uh, is just that. It's a motion asking the government, um, basically highlighting an issue. Uh, and so I decided through my private member's motion to highlight Islamophobia in the context of all types of systemic racism and religious discrimination in Canada, calling on a study that, you know what, we need to look at this issue. You know, no community or no piece of racism is separate from another. Everything is interconnected and we need to work together to build those bridges between communities. But isn't that the point that some are making? That when you isolate one, if you talk about Islamophobia in particular, that it is separating it? Well, a dear friend of mine actually, uh, in, to counter that, he said, you know, in the winter we call everybody to get the flu shot. Um, we don't tell everybody to get every vaccine out there. It's when in that season it's needed, uh, you call it out. Yes, the other vaccines are there. And, and that doesn't take away from, from the other communities or, or their vulnerabilities. In fact, I think that other communities and the ones that I've spoken to can really relate to what the Muslim community is feeling right now. Hard as it must have been to get those emails than to read them out, do you feel like you have already made a point? I think that there's work that needs to be done. I think that we really need to have this study. I think Motion 103 was very necessary to begin that conversation amongst Canadians. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, to getting it through the House. Thanks for this. <laughs> Thank you very much.